Good day, grade 3 learners. Welcome to our lesson for Mathematics 3, quarter 2, week 8, day 1. Our topic for today is solving word problems involving subtraction, including money. Before we begin, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Activating prior knowledge. Discuss the answer to assessment 4 from day 4 of week 7, which can be found in the evaluating learning section of day 4. Here are the expected answers. Lesson Purpose Intention to solve problems involving subtraction where both numbers are less than 10,000, including problems involving money. Lesson Language Practice Everybody will go in to read the Lesson Language Practice. Developing understanding of the key idea STEM. Read the problem aloud to the learners. Aling Maria spent 1,670 on school supplies for her store. If she sold all of them for 2,095, how much did she earn? Ask the following question. Number one, who owns the store? Correct, it is Aling Maria. Number two, how much did she spend on buying the school supplies? She spent 1670 to buy the school supplies. How much were her total sales? Her total sales were 2095 What are we asked to find out? We are asked to determine how much Aling Maria earned after selling all the school supplies. How can we solve the problem? We can solve the problem by subtracting her expenses from her total sales. What number sentence are we going to use? 2,095 pesos minus 1,670 pesos equals to N. Here is the expected answer. 2,095 minus 1,670, 5 minus 0 that is 5, 9 minus 7, that is 2. 0 minus 6 cannot be. We will go into borrow 1 from 2. 0 will become 10. 10 minus 6 is 4. 2 will become 1. 1 minus 1 is equals to 0. We don't have to write it anymore. So, Aling Maria earned 425 pesos. To check the correctness of the answer, we can apply the inverse relationship between addition and subtraction. If we add the subtrahend and difference, we should get the minuend. 1,670 is our subtrahend and our difference is 425. 1,670 plus 425, the answer is 2,095 which is the minuend of the given equation. Therefore, 425 is the correct difference. Problem 2. Mang Dado spent 2,018 pesos on his snack stand. After selling all his snacks for 2,433, he thinks he earned less than 400 pesos. Is Mang Dado correct? Explain your answer. Who owns the snack stand? It is Mang Dado. How much did he spend on his snack stand? He spent 2018. How much were his total sales? His total sales were 
2,433 pesos. What are we asked to find out? We are asked to determine if Mangdado is correct in saying that he earned less than 400 pesos. How can we solve the problem? We can solve the problem by subtracting his expenses from his total sales. What number sentence are we going to use? 2,433 pesos minus 2,018 is equals to N. 2,433 minus 2,018, 3 minus 8 cannot be. We will go to borrow 1 from 3. 3 will become 13. 13 minus 8, that is 5. Two min 3 will become 2. 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. We don't have to write it anymore. So the difference of 2,433 minus 2,018 is 415. Now to check if our answer is correct, we have to subtract add the subtrahend from the difference and we must get the minuend. 2018 is our subtrahend. We will going to add it to 415 which is the difference. 2018 plus 415 is equals to 2433 and we can see that 2433 is the minuend of the given equation. Mangdado earned 415 pesos. He is not correct in saying that he earned less than 400 pesos because 415 is greater than 400 pesos. Deepening understanding of the key idea stem. Solve the following problems, show your solution and final answer.
making generalization and abstraction. How do we solve problem involving subtraction of numbers? Number one, read and understand the problem. Number two, know what is asked. Number three, identify the given information. Find out what numbers and details are given in the problem. Number four, make a number sentence that represents the problem. Number five, solve the problem. And number six, check the correctness of the answer. Evaluating learning. Solve the following problem, show your solution and final answer. Here are the correct answers. Great job today everyone! You listen well, share your thoughts, and work hard. Keep up the good work. Always remember to count, read, learn, and have fun. See you next time!